All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do our uh, Snyder test. So in this tube, I have a collection of spit. So before I apply my 200 microliters to my heated Snyder broth, I am going to vortex it to mix it up. Another thing I could do is just hit it with my fingers like so. So now I'm going to use my pipette. So this is different than the automatic pipette that we used before. So this pipette will pipette 100 to 1,000 microliters. So 0.1 mils to 1 mil. So to move this, I have my dial. So for this particular pipette, man, this blue button's to lock or unlock it. So I depress the blue button. And then I rotate the top knob until I have 200 on my dial. So this will pipette 0.2 milliliters or 200 microliters. So when using a pipette, it's very important that when you go down, push down on the top knob to push out air and you have a first stop of resistance that is where you are set to withdraw to 200. So I would withdraw into my tip and then when I'm transferring the contents of my tip I would push down even more. So this second stop here evacuates all the solution in your tip. All right, so now take my Snyder media and what I'm going to do real quick is in my tube of spit, I'm going to push down, pull in, and then I'm going to pipette up and down a few times. So what this does is actually mixes up the solution to be more homogeneous. I'm going to withdraw 200 microliters and then transfer that into my Snyder and then using this button here I'm going to remove my tip, I'm going to flame and close my tube and then discard my saliva in my media waste. So now to solidify your Snyder media, you want to mix it up a little bit, but to solidify this, all you need to do is run it under cold water. And we're not going to show that in the video because that is very self-explanatory.